KSPW Weather with meteorologist Art Jarrett. Well, good afternoon to you. A lot of folks in the Bay Area, some that are complaining, they're saying that the rainfall is not really getting to the ground. It was moving so fast through that area because they're closer to the low pressure system there that those systems just uh, passed by. The little cells went through and then scooted on over to the Sierra Nevada mountains. In fact, the, what we experienced this morning is already up in the hills big time now. So we had some uh, thunderstorm activity working into the afternoon hours. And just before that, we had some uh, isolated scattered showers uh, moving around. I should say we went to scattered showers and they went to isolated. And now we're picking up the thunderstorm activity. So heavy rain, scattered showers. And then now we're seeing the thunderstorm actually happening now. And it's a little bit uh, of, I should say, isolated down in the Salinas Valley and up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Possibly a one or two could be starting up right now. Now, that being said, let's get to it here. Sky Camp 8, Soledad, we have a little bit of rainfall that's working its way into the area now. In fact, if you look a little bit closer, yeah, that rainfall is getting a little bit thicker and heavier. So that means there's colder air and dry air working up into the atmosphere. So the possibility of maybe getting a dusting as we go along, it's kind of out of the question right now. But it looks like this rainfall is getting a little bit heavier and thicker. That means we're getting some better cloud development and the clouds are lifting a little bit higher now. Winds are up to about 25 knots, I should say, in some cases, and holding on down at the surface about 15 to, to 20 miles per hour. Rain so far, we're looking at uh, Ben Loman picked over, picked up over three and a half inches already. Selena about 0.31, Monterey 0.49, just close to the half an inch. Big Sur 0.165, and Watsonville almost an inch as well. Here's what's going on. There's a look at the rainfall that came through. There's the frontal band right there, and behind it, we're picking up the instability. Here it is. Here's the instability. There's the dry air that you want to see working into the comet tail there, and that helps to just, just destabilize the middle atmosphere, and that's how we get our scattered showers and the possibility of an isolated thunderstorm. Next in the wings, here's another frontal band right here. Instability for that. That's coming into Tonight, as we go into the overnight hours, and we'll find ourselves with all that rainfall, just like we had today, with the winds going around the same time again. Snow forecast for you: we're going to see at least five inches or so, all the way up to about 14 inches down along the uh, foothills. Get up into the mountains; we're looking about two feet. We're going to see some good rainfall coming in the next 48 hours as well. That'll continue on through the area, and the possibility of some flash flooding uh, or, or advisory is not out of the question. We'll see how that goes. So we're going to go into the scattered showers, the isolated thunderstorm activity. As we we go into the evening hours and then more clouds come in and the overnight hours we're looking for that rainfall right again to pass through the areas turning to showers later and then possible uh, isolated thunderstorms rainfall we're expecting for uh, today that's it right there three and a quarter we're doing pretty good so far in fact in some cases we've even expanded past that 50s mostly between 52 and 58 Degrees we go with mostly cloudy skies to cloudy skies all the way through, depending on where you are. 57 in King City, right back to 56 in Monterey, 55 over in Big Sur. Temperatures mostly in the low to mid 50s, right back into the Santa Cruz Mountains. More of that rain tomorrow. Thursday, we continue that rainfall from Wednesday, and then we have a little break as we go into Friday morning. We take a nice little dip into the rain, scattered showers, and then Friday afternoon, partly cloudy skies, a little bit of sunshine. Rainfall comes back Friday night into Saturday, sticks around. And then the same thing for chances of rainfall into Sunday. I got to tell you, Dale, we're going to probably see intermittent rainfall all the way into midweek next week. Excellent. Yeah.